Hey traders, Park again with another indicator. Today I'll be reintroducing you to the uh, consolidation box, but this is the consolidation box redone. This is not my indicator. This is a um, Ben Tense indicator. If you haven't um, gone to their website, it's thinkscript.com or use thinkscript.com. And they're a community of traders with a form, um, a lot of different indicators, a lot of different concepts, a lot of different ideas. A lot of times I go there and just uh, find different ideas and find different things. And one of the things that I had a collection of indicators and I just wanted to start just sharing them. Some of the ones I have are original ideas. Some of them are just uh, ones that I redone, like this one would be uh, Ben Ten's, um consolidation box. Let's pull up his and see what it gives us. And I have it preset at three five. So every three candles, it takes five candles to stay inside the box. And that's what you would get with his consolidation box. His original parameters were two and seven. And I, um, I added this extension as well. So that's what you would get on a one minute with his consolidation box if you use it uh, just as. But like I said, I shorten, I extend the bars use range and I shorten the bars to remain in range to five. You still just get that right there. You're not going to get a lot of information. We can switch it back to the one minute as well. <clears throat> You'll get this box, but you'll miss all of this. So I decided to redo it. I really liked the concept. I really liked everything about it. I just didn't like the way. I didn't like the signal, so I didn't like what it really showed me. So I redid it, and this is what comes out. So he uses the whole candle, the high and the low. I use the max and the medium. Men minimal of the candle and the low and the high so if you look at this box what it's really tracking is the actual high and the actual minimum bar uh, max bar of the of the bar and then you have the minimum of the bars and then you have the uh low uh bars so that's what this one tracks so it's basically the same indicator except for it's not tracking the whole candle it's only tr uh, tracking the uh, the max high and the actual high and the uh, low and the minimum low and like I said I have my preset at five and seven and this is what the outcome that you get so more so if you have a true uptrend it's not gonna print anything it's only gonna print print something when bars start to consolidate and I'm gonna push it to the tick chart so we can actually watch it work I'm hoping that this video is not going to be as long as some of my other ones were, but I really wanted to show you how the indicator worked and uh, how I could help you out, and it's free. And I'll leave the uh, link in the description for uh, Use Think Scripts uh, website, so you can go there and check out a lot of the indicators as well and get some ideas and uh, get some new concepts and uh, see what other people are thinking. One of the ways I was using the indicators like this box right here, it's a lower uh, box. Well, you can see how it acted as resistance as well. It couldn't overcome that one. It's going to be delayed just like you didn't get this one to a few bars printed out. But it takes five bars to create a range and seven bars to stay in that range. And like I said, I added this extension to Ben 10's uh, original box. And that's this is basically how it's playing out. Just like I said, this one was a resistance, and here you have the resistance is right here. It needs to overcome it. I added a pink cloud and a green cloud. But uh yeah, this is the uh
it looks like if you're using on a higher time frame you may want to consider uh lowering the range and the bars to stay in the range because it looks like on the five minute two two bars to create the range and um well two highs and two maxes to create the range and two lows and two minimums to create the range will give you a nice uh consolidation so right now you're expecting it to come back down to 316 possibly but if you don't know what i'm talking about uh when i say max and minimum and basically it's the highest um part of the box not the actual high but just this part of the box right here and the minimum would be this part not the actually low but that part of the box and that part of the box or even that lower part of the box and not the actual low so it's just tracking those And all I'm doing now is just switching to different time frames to let you see how it actually works. The tick chart is just to let you actually watch it uh, play out. And you would actually need more bars for the range when you're considering a tick chart because it's so it's going so fast. So on a higher time frame, you may could consider less bars. But if you're looking at a daily range, you may want to consider uh, using five four to five bars for your range and maybe even 10 bars to remain in the range or possibly reverse that to 10 bars for a range or five bars to remain in the range just because five bars to give you on, on a daily chart give you five days and 10 bars on a daily chart to give you two weeks and carrying on four bar i mean four uh four weeks uh give you a month so you may want to do 20 days or, or 20 bars nothing's perfect but i really like the signals that i got when i started using this and i was using it on the five minute and 15 minute
But that's the end of the video. Um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, uh, please do so. If you uh, have some different ideas or different concepts, please leave a comment. Um, if you had any other questions, you can uh, shoot me an email at cwparker23 indicators dot at yahoo.com but uh this is the end of the video i really appreciate you guys uh, supporting the channel and taking the time to uh you know just listen to me and uh think about outside the box and about different concepts y'all have a great day and happy trading